So today I decided to fix one of my absolute favorites, Santa Fe Taco Soup. Now the weather here in Mississippi is bipolar, y'all. One day is hot, one day is cold. But it was a little chilly outside today, so I decided to take advantage of that. Now, let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is you want to brown two pounds of beef. Ground beef. And then you want to use a chopped onion, one whole chopped onion. Now you want to season it. You want to add two packs of Hidden Valley Ranch dip seasoning and two packs of taco seasoning. Now you could use mild or you could use hot, whatever you prefer. But let me just tell y'all this. Don't go up in here adding no salt, no onion powder, and no garlic powder, y'all. Because y'all know we add that to everything. But this is one thing that you will not have to add that to because the all the flavor is coming from the taco seasoning and the Hidden Valley seasoning. Now you want to add in your other ingredients. You want to add one can of pinto beans. You want to also add one can of Rotel tomatoes. Yes, we're going to also add in a can of diced tomatoes. And then we're going to add in a can of black beans. I love beans, y'all. I could, I, when I tell you how I could eat just by every time. And yes, we are using great value. There's nothing wrong with great value. It's the same as the name brand stuff. So we're gonna also use one can of dark red kidney beans or whatever type of kidney beans you would like to use. I'm also gonna use white shoe pig corn, just one can. I should like this corn because it's crispy. I don't know, it's just something different about it from white corn, but I prefer to use this in my soup as opposed to yellow corn, I meant. Then you're gonna add two cups of a hot water. I only show one, but I put two cups of water in there. And then you're gonna let it simmer. Now, I don't really know how long exactly I let this simmer, you guys, but I'm gonna say I gave it about 45 minutes to an hour. And then I want to make sure I also scrape the bottom of the pan or the pot to get the, the, the parts that were sticking under there because I don't want to eat no burn soup. But y'all, this is the outcome. Look how sick and good that looks. So now it's ready. You can add your toppings. You can add sour cream and cheese like I did. It actually was my first time I adding that, and it was really, really good. Also, you can eat your soup with tortilla chips, you can eat it with crackers, or you could just eat it with a spoon. Yeah, when I tell y'all this soup is so good, if you decide to fix this soup, you guys, let me know in the comments how it turned out. Bye!